I heard Priest is getting a lot of hate lately, so I just want to clear some things up and tell you why Priest is not the problem. Before we get started, I do ask that you, if you do like the content, hit that like button and the subscribe button. That'd be awesome. Helps me out a lot. And uh, let's get into it. There have been a lot of tweets lately about Priest and how it's ruining Hearthstone, how it's uh, very unfun to play against. It makes you never want to queue up again. And I understand. I, I get it to an extent. Um, I personally don't like playing against Priest right now either, but at the same time, I don't like playing against any class except for Warlock, really, and uh, I'm going to get into that right now. Just keep in mind that this is all my opinion, and uh, if you disagree with it, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm sure you will, uh, but uh, let's get started with Priest. I feel like Priest is just as toxic as every other class. It just has a different win condition, and the way that it wins, uh, especially now with uh, how consistent it is, that is why I think that is why people are so mad at it. Um, or they get they they think that it's ruining the game um because priest always has this win condition of or at least control priest is when you, you get it down to really low health of course as an aggressive deck or a mid-range deck and then they heal back up miraculously and it makes you feel really bad as the other player um that's just always how control priest and just control decks in general work against those aggressive more uh, more aggressive decks um the thing that makes priest so bad right now to play against is the fact that it's so consistent at what it does, right? Because the, there's such a small pool of cards with the uh, rotation that happened. Um, so the discover pool is so small. So if you if you renew, you're most you're you're pretty likely to find something that you need. Whether it's another heal card, whether it's uh, something to copy a minion, whether it's something to help clear the board or stall out, uh, or whether it's just more generation like palm reading. And then it goes vice versa with palm reading, because then palm reading could find a renew, it could find you the healing, it could find you a uh, board clear pretty consistently. All this stuff is pretty consistent. Uh, Priest does have like the most access to uh, this card generation, and that stems, that's where the problem lies. That's where people are getting very frustrated. Uh, because Priest can consistently find these outs to stay alive or, or come back and win the game. And it's very frustrating. I get it. But what you have to understand is that players naturally have this bias against classes that they don't like playing against, that, that counter their deck, per se. And also, like, you just have to look at the other decks in the game and, and realize that these other decks are very consistent at what they do as well. And that can be very frustrating, too. One example would be Token Druid. Token Druid could just win the game on turn one or two, and there's nothing you can do about it in most situations the only class that has potential to deal with that at the beginning of the game is maybe demon hunter with uh immolation aura but druid can put out these obnoxious boards really early on and it can just end the game and it feels like you literally have no chance regardless of what you did um you had no decisions to be made and you didn't get to play the game and that's one of the worst feelings for me and that makes me not want to queue up ever again um, so while people are hating on Priest so much, I hate on Token Druid, and I hate on these other decks as well that I'm going to get into in just a second. But I, I did, I did hear the argument that uh, it's it's more it's better to lose in like two seconds and then queue up for another game instead of playing out the whole game and then like for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then losing to to random stuff that Priest creates. And I understand that that totally feels awful too. But at the same time, you can't. You can't just write off these other decks that feel horrible to play against and you lose so quickly without even getting to play the game. Like against Priest, at least you get to play the game for a bit, okay? Maybe it all gets disrupted and and, and uh, your dreams get crushed at the end and it feels awful, sure. But at least you got to play the game, you got to play your cards that you put in your deck, all right? And you had somewhat of a chance, all right? There was a chance that your opponent bricked, he didn't get what he wanted, and... Um, that just doesn't happen sometimes there's there's these games that just feel like you didn't get to play that they were just they they weren't games they were non-games and that that's what happens sometimes against token druid especially there are also these situations with other decks besides token druid um but it, it's less it, it doesn't win the game on turn one or two but if you curve out really well if you get the nuts essentially if you get the best 
uh, starting hand, the best curve that you can get, the opening curve. And it can be very hard to beat some of these decks like uh, Aggro Shaman, like Doomhammer Shaman. Uh, very obnoxious deck. It just curves out pretty much. It's very easy to play. Um, people had been talking about Smooth Brain Paladin in the past, uh, recently, before it got nerfed twice. And, uh, I mean, I think it's kind of the same thing with Shaman, but now nobody's complaining about Shaman because now they're, they're loving it, apparently. Um, and ev all the hate just goes to Priest, even though there's these games against Shaman that you don't really have a choice. I mean, you just take, they get out a Doomhammer on, like, turn two, they coin it, they Lightning Bloom it out, and then in two turns, you're probably just dead to, uh, Rockbiter and Stormstrike, and there's really not much you can do. The only weapon removal tech in the game is Ooze and... Uh, they can get their weapon, they can get the second Doomhammer so consistently with the new cards that they got in the mini set that it doesn't even matter half the time. I can play an Ooze and I'll still die most of the time. Even playing Priest. I can play Priest with an Ooze in my deck. It doesn't matter. Um, I mean, it's it's really, it really just doesn't feel like you get to play games in Hearthstone most of the time right now. And it's not only Priest's fault. Yes, Priest seems like it's one of the strongest classes in the game, for sure. I agree, and uh, I, I don't like playing against it. I play it sometimes because I love control decks, um, but uh, it doesn't it doesn't change the fact that playing as Priest, you can lose to the same BS that you lose to as any other class. So you got all these overpowered decks going against each other, and then it's basically whoever gets the better starting hand, whoever gets the better curve, whoever gets whoever discovers the better stuff wins, and uh, it's just not fun really isn't i mean you have these other classes like shaman that don't have as much generation as a class like priest but the fact that they don't even need that generation most of the time and they can just play their overpowered stuff and just win i mean it's pretty frustrating as well um so i just think that people need to look at the bigger picture yes priest is obnoxious to play against yes there's multiple decks of priests that are actually obnoxious to play against like miracle priest is really really unfun that's actually one of my most hated decks to play against right now and i i play priest a decent amount um but i think that people have to realize that there's other stuff that's ruining the game as well and i, I think the most obvious thing is token druid and then the fact that shaman is so consistent it's just very frustrating i think i think that there's a lot of frustrating stuff in the game like rogue with octobot sometimes it feels like if demon hunter if death rattle demon hunter has a seven drop uh, Death Speaker Blackthorn, then they just win the game. Of course, you have Mage with the Encanter's Flows at the beginning of the game that make it seem pretty impossible to win sometimes. You've got OTK Demon Hunter that sometimes it doesn't feel like you get to play the game either because they just draw through their whole deck and then they kill you. Um, and they sometimes kill you on turn 6 or 7 or 8. And that's what I'm saying about the... If, if you have that really good opener, if you get that... If, if you just have the nuts, then you just, you just win. You also have Rush Warrior, which... Not as toxic to play against sometimes, but I mean, that deck is still very strong. They do a lot of powerful things, and um, certain decks, they just, you just feel like you have no no shot. And it actually, a deck like that, a deck like Rush Warrior that fights so well back on board, it, all these decks that are so overpowered in what they do, they basically prevent people from building other decks and other decks from being playable. So you have like these, you have a lot of classes that are playable. Actually, every single class is playable and viable except for Warlock right now, in my opinion. Um, but you actually just can only play one or maybe two archetypes or else there's just no chance. You just can't compete with the power level of these top decks. So Rush Warrior is the best at what it does. It fights back on the board so well um, that if you're playing a deck like I, I've been playing a deck death rattle hunter lately and it's it's really a lot of fun and it's it actually feels pretty strong but if i play against a rush warrior there's actually like no shot that i can win the game because they just fight back on board too well they just do their job too well and that's the problem all these decks they do the job too well um it, it creates a lack of creativity in the game everyone's just forced to play the best stuff uh these this best list and, or else they just they're putting themselves at such a disadvantage and then uh, even if they're playing the best list, sometimes you just can't win because your opponent just drew better. So, uh, I mean, don't also discount the fact that Face Hunter is still very, very prevalent. And if Face Hunter curves out very well, it's very hard to beat. Even if you're playing as Priest, 
Uh, they can just vomit on the board really quickly and make guys with two or three health. And, and Priest has a difficult time at dealing with that, uh, especially with the Menagerie Priest list that is very popular. Um, there's really not... And, and and then you might be saying, well, then just run Control Priest, not Menagerie Priest, and put in like Holy Smites and stuff like that. Then if you do that, you're putting yourself at way, way more disadvantage against other classes. So then it turns into this Rock, Paper, Scissors thing again. And uh, yeah. The game is not that great right now. And I, I totally feel that. But I don't think Priest is the problem. All right. Priest is part of the problem, but it's not the problem. The problem is is a lot of it's, it's the overall power level of all these decks except for warlock <laughs> uh warlock is actually one of the one of the decks that i don't mind playing against because it's so bad against a lot of things um control warlock is actually pretty powerful of course with ticketus and uh and all that jazz like if you get to play your cards it's very strong but uh the aggressive decks are so strong uh, that you just can't play it at all and basically all the decks at the top are like aggressive slash mid range that are just very powerful and, and get on the board very quickly and there's nothing nothing warlock could really do i mean you have hysteria but <clears throat> you're just usually dead so hopefully next expansion fixes everything you know i i i'm losing hope for the game a lot of people are losing hope but um, I'm hoping that there's some kind of some kind of balance patch. I'm not even sure what they could do at this point. Honestly, they're going to have to fix a lot of stuff right now. They're going to have to put out another big patch that has a lot of nerfs and a lot of buffs if they want to really change the game uh, before the expansion comes out, which is probably in a while. We probably have a while before the expansion comes out. A lot of people aren't already are, are already not playing the game. Uh, I took a week break from the game recently because I, I've been hating it and I barely ever have taken breaks from Hearthstone since the closed beta. The last time I took a break from Hearthstone was when Shutterwalk Shaman was a big thing. Um, and those games didn't feel like I got to play at all. You're queuing up against 80% Shutterwalk Shaman. It was awful. In my opinion. So I'm very scared for the future of Hearthstone, but I'm going to keep playing it because I'm a competitive player and I stream the game, so... Uh, I'm basically forced to play the game, but I really hope that changes come soon and uh, they somehow fix the, the unplayability that is Hearthstone right now. I would love to know what you think down below in the comments, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, and why. And uh, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you like this kind of uh, ranting video. And uh, if, you, if you did like the video and you want to see more like that, please let me know that down below as well. And uh, I do stream every day on Twitch, so if you want to come by, I would love to have you. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.